Hello and welcome in this video. I am going to talk about MA block element uh, of master add ons plugin. So, let us drag this MA block element to our page. And this is the default structure of MA block element. So, let us uh, decrease the excerpt content from port setting and make it 23. And now you see it is look more perfect. Okay, let us go to the display option and I am going to talk about this display option in details. So, here we go. In block layout, you will see classic and card system. Then if you go to the block type, you will see grid, list and machinery layout and you know how to work with this machinery layout. So, I am going to talk about the grid and list system properly because these two system has uh, seven unique variations. So, let us discuss in details. For example, let me select list layout and the number of columns should be 1 and for post, ok, let us showcase the only 4 post and then list layout type, it is the list classic, then list meta background, list button right and this is how list button right looks like and then list content overlap, this is how list content overlap works, you can play with all of these other option too. So, if I show you all of this option then the video will be longer. So, I am just taping it up here and then let us go to the other options. Here is the post matter separator. So, let us uh, go back to our classic layout, grid layout and make it two column. Perfect. And let us use the post matter separator. Okay. If I put a space here then the separator will be gone and if I place anything here then it will be appeared instantly within this post matter separator area. Title HTML tag you can select any HTML tag which you prefer for your this title area and then post type you can filter your post or page or any post type for example knowledge base article we have a post type in our dashboard named knowledge base article so it will appear here. If you have any other post type, then it will be appeared here automatically. So, do not worry about this section. Here is the raw spacing. If I put a raw space, then you can see it is increasing the space and it is the column space. If I place 60 and you can see the space, this is how the raw and column space work. I am putting 0 by default. And here is the content alignment. You can place it center or right and then post per page option and you can enable pagination from this option too. Just type the next post or previous post in your language or as you prefer then it will be applied automatically by number and next post system. So, let us go to the thumbnail setting. In thumbnail setting you can see image size is full, thumbnail feed is covered, then thumbnail position and the interesting part is hover animation, color effect and thumbnail shape. For example, let me select a hover animation, it is let us select Bob as a hover animation and for color let us select uh, flashing color and shape formed and then let us take a preview and you can see the bob effect, the flashing color effect and the formed effect here. Each of the featured image is applied by bob animation, flashing effect and farm shape. So, this is how thumbnail setting work. Ok, so let us navigate to the post setting and in this post setting you can see it is the meta control system and you can control your excerpt and show content or ignore sticky. Just play with all of these options to make your blog page more unique than any other's website. And then the advanced setting it is the filtering system. You can offset post count here, then uh, category filter tab you can enable this to filter category tabs and then the links in a new tab system and at the last we have carousel system you can enable carousel then autoplay it or you can enable navigation dots or as arrow as a navigation and play with this arrow position system too let's go to our style and the style is basically stand for changing the typography and color you can change overly color image by using color picker and also play with the CSS filter for your featured image. Then go to title and in title you will see color, typography and hover color system for the title area. Then the meta 
it's for the meta content and then content area you can see the text color text content background color typography padding box uh, background color just play with all of these option and it's nothing to show you in details how this option really works and i believe you know how to work with all of these option and the last part is pagination and if you have already applied pagination then you will see normal and hover so just uh, change the text color background color or border type we in normal and since the hover color uh, hover background color border type to get a outstanding look of your presentation and this is all about ma blog system and i hope you got a clear idea on how to work with this ma blog so i recommend you to work with this uh, variation system in your personal blog just download this plugin for free from wordpress or page and play with this in your local server or personal website